Hello everyone, welcome to Carl's Tech Shed again. Right, well today I've got a rather interesting bit of kit here. Um, this is a Sun Microsystems external hard drive. I'll let you have a look at the back. Now this I believe is a 1.6 gigabyte SCSI drive. As you can see there's a 50 pin SCSI interface. Um, there's two there so you can daisy chain more than one device together. Um, you've got the device IRQ setting, um, you've got a small fan in the back and you've got the standard um, kettle power supply cable input. Uh, right, well Underneath, if anyone's interested, um, they can have a look at the model number. So the model number is, well, part number, sorry, is 595-225301. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and remove the hard drive from the caddy and uh, connect it up to my server, which is down there. Now, the reason I'm removing it, it, well, for two reasons really, I don't have any external 50-pin SCSI cables. The other reason is because I think it'd be more interesting to see what the drive actually looks like uh, once it's out of its casing. Right then, well as you can see this is a la very large drive, um, I'll just tell you what I'll do, I'll just pop a normal um, three and a half inch drive next to it so you can compare the size of it. Um, yeah, well that's a standard uh, IDE, what is that, so a 30 gig standard IDE drive, and this is the extra, uh, sorry, internal, now it's, uh, I've removed it from its caddy, it's now a five and a quarter drive, as you can see that's the three and a half drive, so it's a five and a quarter drive and it's uh, it's about four inches high, so it's a really big drive physically. Um, it's uh, manufactured by Seagate, I'll let you have a look there. It's a PA4E1H drive, um, doesn't mention a manufacturing date, but I'm probably guessing it's about maybe 1995, something like that. Um, just flipping this over, you can see the vast number of components that are on the board. Um, if we compare that to the Desk Pro drive here, and even this has a lot compared to more recent drives, you've got a controller, uh, you've got the interface controller, you've got the stepper motor controller. Um, you've got another controller chip there and you've got a cache chip and just a few other components like uh, you've got some power transistors, chip resistors and so on on here to be honest uh, it's it's difficult to know where to start um, well the LSI logic chip chances are that's going to be the controller chip um, this little AT&T chip over here I'm pretty sure that would be the stepper motor controller um, the rest of it would probably just be um, SCSI interface controllers um, and you've got some cache memory there. I'm not sure how much cache it's got but I wouldn't have thought it's much more than uh, probably a quarter meg, half meg, something like that. Um, so as you can see that's the 50 pin SCSI interface on the back. It takes a normal Molex power connector so I'll be able to plug that straight in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a quick clean up because it's very dusty and uh, what I'll do is I'll plug it in so you can see it come up on the on the server and we'll see what's on it if anything and uh, then we'll check the speed of it. Okay so I've just connected all of the cables I've got the standard um, Molex power connector here uh, now what I've got here is the interface on the drive is a 50 pin SCSI but the only cables I've got are 68 pin SCSI which look like 
this. So what I've used is, I've used a converter to convert the 50 pin over to 68 pin. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, power this up now and you can hear the, the, the uh, noises that this drive makes because it's quite loud compared to modern drives and it takes quite a lot of time to boot up. Okay, well that sounds like it's passed its seek test. Now all we've got to do is see if it comes up on the screen. There we go. It's found its Seagate. Oh, 1.3 gig. Might only be a 1.3 gig. Well, not to worry. I'll just uh, wait until this boots up into Windows. Right, so this is now booted into Windows. I'm just going to go into Computer Management. Uh, I'll go into Storage disk management. Right, it's now telling me I've got to initialize and convert this. Yep. Convert that. Done. Yeah, it is a 1.3 gigabyte hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to format this. Uh, well, make a partition and now format it. H drive. Form a quick format. I'm going to use uh, NTFS to format it. It's got some activity going on anyway. going to wait for this to format. Okay, I've just had to restart the server. Um, I've just noticed this on the side, I took this little bit of metal off and I've found a manufacture date, it's the um, 15th of October 1991. Um, a, well, a 1.3 gigabyte hard drive in 1991 would have been, well, quite huge um, compared to most of the other machines which probably would have had maybe 120 megs, 180 megs, something like that. Okay, so the server has restarted. I've booted the drive up. Uh, here it is. It's uh, blinking away there. It's um, got some activity on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a program I use called HD Speed, and all this does is just going to check the speed of the drive. Yeah, so it's about 3.3 megabytes per second. So if I convert that into bits, yeah, you're looking at about 25 megabits per second, um, which is about the same speed as a good quality SD memory card nowadays. Um, I've got a four gigabyte SD card here. This is a bit more advanced. This is a 30 megabits per second card. Um, but this is a 26.9, well, 27 meg per second drive. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pop some files onto it and see what we can do with it. Right, well, I've just copied a movie trailer on there, which is, as you'll see, it's uh, 1080p. Uh, I, can't, I can't show the video coming from the drive because no doubt the YouTube Nazis will take the video down for copyright. But I can assure you that when I played back the 1080p video, um, it, it, there was no lag, there was no dropped frames, it just ran perfectly. So for a 20 year old hard drive, which only stores 1.3 gigabytes, that's quite an achievement really. Well what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this back into, I'm going to, well first I'm going to wipe it and uh, then I'll probably just pop it back into the Sun Microsystems housing and uh, no doubt it'll end up on my shelf somewhere no doubt. Well thanks for watching guys and I'll have another video up soon. Um, I'll most likely have a video up hopefully about the um, tape drives I've got here. I keep meaning to do it but I keep putting it off so um, that'll be up soon so thanks for watching.